In this video, we will be covering the configuration basics for Freedom to Roam on the support site. First, visit support.lgfl.org.uk on your preferred internet browser and log in with your USO username and password. Once logged in, click on the drop down menu Service Desk, followed by Freedom to Roam. From here, you can begin to configure the service. Firstly, you will need to create a group via the Create a New Group text box. Once you have named the group, click Create. The new group can now be edited by clicking Select within the Groups. From here, we will be greeted by three tabs. The first tab, Users, will be used to define who can authenticate into this Freedom to Roam group. There are two main options. You can add a USO profile, which will include all the users with the matching profile option. As an example, we can add the role staff and then all users with the role staff will get included in this group. There is also the option to bespoke add users via the add user search function. This will allow you to search for the USO username of the user and add them here. With both of the above options, you can also add the ability to log in with an authenticator. The two available options are required if available or compulsory. Now let's move on to the second tab, bookmarks. Bookmarks allow you to add bookmarked IPs to remotely connect to either an RDP or a VNC session via the following drop down menu. Let's start with an RDP entry. When selecting RDP, there are two mandatory fields the IP of the machine and the description. There are also three optional fields port number, in case you have changed the port on your local network for RDP and username and password in case you are using network level authentication. Once you have filled in above, you can click add. Now let's move on to VNC. When selecting VNC, there are three mandatory fields, the IP of the machine, the VNC password, and the description. It's worth noting that you can set a view only password within the VNC password field. Further information on what this achieves will be available within the written guidance. There is also a singular optional port number field. Let's move on to the third and final tab. This is where you configure your VPN and advanced networking, allowing you to define a range of IPs, giving you the ability to connect via the AnyConnect client. To do this, we click Enable Advanced Networking and complete the IP ranges below. It's also worth noting that we advise completing the DNS settings above in order to ensure the advanced networking works correctly. This concludes our guidance on configuring freedom to roam on the support site.